But what do we do with all that data? Well, let's start by looking at a very, very finite amount of information. And we'll go to a view that shows us event activity over time. Now we can see here that with just the last minutes of information, we only have 18 events and we can see expected behavior over time. But a minute isn't particularly useful for us in this example, so let's expand this to the current day's activity. Well, now we're looking at events, how they occurred over time, and expected behavior based upon our dynamic baseline calculations. And we're looking at um, a little over 2 million events. We're seeing all of the source and destination IPs of those events, and we're seeing a list, a complete list of all of those events and the counts of those events. And we can see that in this case, the majority of this traffic is LimeWire traffic. But let's go back even further. Let's look at a previous months of information. Now we often hear from customers and prospects that with legacy security information and management systems, to run a report on a month's worth of information with fewer parameters than what we're looking at here could take a matter of hours. And we're able to retrieve this information again in just seconds, including a full baseline calculation of observed versus expected behavior. Let's take this a step even further and let's look at the current year. Again, this information comes back in just a few seconds. We're now looking at over 1 billion events. We can see the source IPs, the destination IPs, and all of the events that have occurred over the entire year. Let's look at all event data collected over all time. Now again, in this demo environment, that's approximately nine months of collected security information. Now, if we look at this, we can see where all of these events have occurred over time. And in this case, each one of these vertical bars represents four days of information. Now, the performance of the SIM not only lets you look at large amounts of data relatively quickly, but it lets you interact with that data quickly. So let's say we want to see what this particular spike of information is about. We simply drill in and now we see again with dynamically calculated baseline activity the event data has it occurred over this period of time which we're looking at November 8th through November 13th with each of these vertical bars now representing two hours. We can continue to drill in and drill in more and even more. Now we're looking at vertical bars that represent a second in time. I've gone from nine months of information to a particular second in just a few seconds itself. Now, if I select a one second period of time, you'll notice that the rest of the dashboard updates showing me the events, source IPs and destination IPs of only the activity that occurred during that second. I've gone from nine months to one second in a matter of moments.